Runs, and today we're going to do a video about three of my new snakes I got. As you may have joined in on the live stream last night, which suffered some technical difficulties, not on my end, I must say, because those of you that switched over and joined us on Instagram, seeing everything went fine and smooth. So, uh, here is my little western hognose female, and uh, she's going to be the first one that we're going to look at up close. Hog noses are very docile for the most part. You can get some individuals that are not necessarily aggressive, but defensive and will hiss and puff up and all that. Uh, generally, the females will get about two foot to maybe 30 inches in length. And <clears throat> the males will be quite a bit smaller. So there is much of a debate about the saliva of hog noses. Some people call them venomous. Some people are say they are non-venomous. Uh, to me, I would say they are technically non-venomous, even though their saliva does cause some irritation if they do bite you. They do not have hollow fangs. Their fangs are in the rear of their mouth. And what happens there is their saliva that they secrete will cause some localized swelling and irritation. Uh, this is done to help them digest their prey, such as frogs in the wild and small rodents. Uh, my little girl here is feeding on live, I'm sorry, my little girl here is feeding on frozen fall. She was feeding live when I first got her and uh, is now eating frozen fall rat pinkies. So uh, there's a little bit of information about hog noses and uh, I'm going to switch the camera around now and get some close-ups of her and also a couple of my new uh, snakes I've picked up in the last couple weeks. So thanks for watching. Hang in there. Okay, and let's have a little closer look at her. This is my western hognose female. And uh, as you can tell, the scales on a hognose, they are called killed scales. K-E-E-L-E-D killed hopefully i'm pronouncing that right um they are a lot rougher than your ball python for those of you that have ball pythons and boas um, it's helped them get traction when they're burrowing through the substrate when they're digging for toads and amphibians in the wild so and as you can tell so girl is pretty docile uh, which majority of the species are from what i'm being told but was like any snake uh, when they're small they tend to be a little more aggressive just out of fear but it's not really aggressive it's just defensive they don't want to be eaten so and uh, here's a little more close-up of her if we can get this camera to focus a little bit better there we go so and there's her home she lives in a 28 quart tub in the rack with a couple other young ball pythons. Some people have asked me, can you keep snakes of different species in the same rack? Of course you can. Now, uh, they have a shelf separating them, and there she is in her home. And while we're talking about her home, yes, yeah, so you want to make sure they have a hide and also this water bow also works as a cool side hide too so it has some small gaps on the bottom and uh, she does crawl under there quite frequently to regulate her own temperature now she is on heat as you can tell there so they do like a warm spot just pretty much in the same range as a ball python so there you go you can keep a hog nose in the same rack with the same temperatures as a ball python and next up we have <clears throat> excuse me my new lesser inchy male um, got this guy from royal morph creations in ohio great guy great family that does breeding of ball pythons and they have a fantastic selection so you should check them out at your local reptile show and I believe they also have a Facebook page so and this is a lesser inchy
And one more uh, reveal to do today. And here she is, my yellow belly female. And uh, I'll get a little better close-up shots of her for you. And uh, she's in a 28 quart rack. And let's show the underside of her. Um, this is your typical yellow belly pattern on the bottom and uh, has a checkered pattern on her belly. There she is. As you can tell, she's a pretty good sized girl. There's a little bit more video of her. And that wraps up today's video. And here is my little lesser inchy male. Uh, I got him out to show him some more. I just love the colors on this guy. And he just shed in this past week. So he looks fantastic. So, um, once again, please leave any comments below if you got any questions. Uh, be more than glad I try to comment back to everyone that comments and uh, don't forget to hit the like button and please subscribe to us hit that notification bell and periodically double check it to make sure it doesn't get unchecked so sometimes when they do updates and stuff it will actually uncheck your notification bell and you may not get a notification of when we post a video or go live so I thank you each and every one for your support and uh, look forward to uh, seeing what 2019 has for everybody out there. And don't forget, Tinley in March is coming up soon. So be ready for that. I'll be up there Saturday for sure. I uh, have some prior commitments on Friday, so I won't be up there Friday. But I will be there Saturday for sure. So once again, thanks for watching. And don't forget to comment, subscribe, like, and we'll see you soon.